Dear intelligence, ladies and gentlemen, and all friends, my name is Li Ruiyun. I'm honored to be here to present my paper at the EAI conference. The title of my paper is "Effect of Electrical Stimulation on Pain in Patients with Knee Osteoarthritis." My report is divided into the following three parts: introduction, methods and results, and discussion and conclusions. Firstly, let me introduce the first part: introduction. Knee osteoarthritis (KOA) is the most common disease in osteoarthritis. Its main symptoms are knee pain and knee stiffness, with inconvenience people to move and can even lead to functional disability. In severe cases, globally, the majority of its patients are senior citizens. Because knee osteoarthritis pain and the loss of functional motor ability reduce the quality of life in the elderly, the treatment of knee osteoarthritis has attracted. Much attention in terms of its treatment. Although there are drug therapy, no drug therapy, invasive intervention, and physical therapy, the therapeutic effect is not satisfactory. So pain therapy is the most concerned and feasible treatment method at present. Electrical stimulation, yes, as a non-invasive treatment, delivers various stimulation from the skin surface by placing electrodes on the skin to increase muscle strength, reduce joint stiffness, and muscle spasm, so as to play a role in pain relief. It has different types of use in relieving knee osteoarthritis pain, including transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation, tens, neuromuscular electrical stimulation, nice interfering current (IFC), and so on. In practical. Applications, teens and nuns, are the most common. So this paper takes them as examples to analyze the effectiveness of electrical stimulation in treating pain for patients who have knee osteoarthritis. The treatment method of teens. Is often used to treat knee osteoarthritis pain. Transcutaneous years electrical nerve stimulation is a treatment method based on the gait control theory proposed by Music, and because of its pain relieving function, is often used as a conservative treatment. For the pain of knee osteoarthritis, literature research showed that teens had a positive effect on the knee osteoarthritis when it was used in randomized controlled trials. The mechanism of neuromuscular electrical stimulation is to Stimulate muscles and all nerves with electrodes to induce muscle contraction, which can increase muscle load and improve muscle strength through electrical induced contraction, thus relieving pain. 
studies have shown that neuromuscular electrical stimulation can increase the strength of the quadriceps muscle and relieve pain in patients with knee osteoarthritis. osteoarthritis. The review provided strong evidence that both kings and nuns have a role in pain relief. In addition, the authors stated that there were some limitations in the article and the specific effects of teens and nuns needs further investigation. Therefore, this systematic review of electrical stimulation therapy is aimed to analyze the role of teens and nuns in reducing pain in patients with KOA through a review of the liable literature, we speculate that teens is more useful than nuns treatment in treating KOA pain. The second part is methods and results. When looking for literature, there are two steps. Keywords researched include electrical determination, transcutaneous electrical nerve determination, mural muscular electrical determination, pain osculer arthritis, and pain experiments in which patients had undergone knee replacement sewage were excluded. Studies using other electrical determination and studies using implantable electrodes were also excluded. A total of 10 randomized controlled trials were selected for systematic analysis, and the study methods of these 10 experiments were summarized as shown in table. These are five experiments using nuns that have shown positive results in terms of pain relief in osteoarthritis of the knee. These are five experiments using teens that have shown significant results in pain relief for knee osteoarthritis. Ten studies investigate the effect of electrical determination on pain in patients with knee osteoarthritis. The results of the study showed that Electrical stimulation had a positive effect on the treatment effect of pain and the effect of nuns on the treatment of pain was significant. In terms of experimental setup, it was divided into three accepts, personal selection, parameter setting, and the main outcome methods for pain. A total of 405 people particular participated in the experiment, and all of them were voluntary, and all of them met the experimental criteria. The different parameters selected for the experiments and the different data selection for the different metric may have been an air for future improvement. Mean outcome measures for pain is divided into both moving and cause which are three general assessment methods 
and they have required patients to rate their pain according to their own pain conditions, encompassing starting subjective factors. The last part is decision and conclusions. TINS is a common analgesic method in a randomized trial of the TIN studies. TINS was used to treat painful conditions in QA. This is a picture of the application of TINS for osteoarthritis pain. The different data provided by the five selected random experiments indicate that teens were significantly effective in treating pain whether compared with other forms of electrical stimulation, conventional therapy, or medication. Teens, whether in form of electrotherapies or portable variables is always effective in pain treatment for patients who have QA. Ninth is type of physical therapy commonly used to treat knee osteoarthritis. This is a picture of the application of ninth for osteoarthritis skin pain. In the randomized trial of NINTH study, NINTH was used to treat pain and motion recovery in knee osteoarthritis. Different evidence from five randomized trials indicated that NINTH alone or in combination with other treatments can slow down the pain level in patients with KOA. Comparing tens and nines, we can find that when tens is in use, electrodes stimulate the pin sensing nerve tissue to keep it in a state of continuous excitation, thereby increasing the pin threshold due to fatigue. At the same time, Teen stimulation on the nerve can also promote the dilation of blood vessels near the knee joint and accelerate blood circulation, so it has good analgesic effect, which can be seen in a short time. Nines have been widely used to increase muscle strength and improve physical function even at low intensity. So restore quadriceps motor function inhibited in patients with experimental knee pain. The physical characteristics of nuns are more suitable for simulating muscle contraction than analgesia. One limitation of this paper is that it is possible that all included articles based their treatment protocols on previously published similar treatment guidelines, which means that another studies or all treatment approaches may have been overlooked. Another limitation of this paper is the inconstancies of the electrical stimulation parameters used and the lack of uniformity in the published literature. So it's not possible to group the experiment according to the setting of equipment parameters and it's not possible to conduct quantitative analysis 
of experiment. At the same time, in future experimental studies, longer follow-up and research should be used to better evaluate the treatment effect and safety of electrical stimulation. In summary, we analyzed the therapeutic effects of different types of electrical stimulation on knee osteoarthritis pain in the knee joint. Studies have shown that both teens and nuns have positive energetic effects on knee osteoarthritis, but the best energetic effect is teens. In future studies, it's necessary to increase the experimental analysis of teens with the same parameters to determine better methods of pain relief. This all I have to report. If you have any questions, please feel free to communicate and contact me. This is my email address. Thank you all.